neck is divided into the certain triangles yes anterior triangle posterior triangle also there is a small triangle sub occipital triangle in your bd chorasius or textbook you can see this diagram we are going to understand step by step try to understand suppose this is our forehead nose upper lip lower lip chin getting the point and then here is our neck portion now here we are drawing the occipital region and the our extension of the neck when you are presenting the neck then try to draw it with the long manner so that you can show each triangle in a very beautiful way and this is the our scalp portion for the beauty of the diagram same eyebrow and eyes here is the our ear mastoid process extra occipital protuberance and our superior nuchal line this is our margin of mandible and angle of mandible then you have to show the imaginary line joining the mastoid process with the angle of mandible fine now here i told you there is our manubrium and sternum body of sternum and here we presented the our clavicle suppose this is the clavicle fine now one by one step by step i am going to tell you one muscle that is the sternocleidomastoid yes try to understand one muscle is taking origin from the our sternum manubrium then it is taking origin from the our clavicle do you remember medial two third of the clavicle at superior surface gives origin to the sternocleidomastoid now both the fibers are uniting together and getting insertion into the mastoid process diagrammatic presentation because this muscle is taking origin from the sternum that's why you will say sterno and then going yes also it is taking origin from the clavicle that's why cleido and then getting insertion into the mastoid process that's why sternocleidomastoid simple way okay origin and insertion 